Hi guys, Anne Marie here. Um, today's video, I'm going to bring you a little bit of side lying leg series. So um, we all love working our legs and our booty. Um, there's so many different variations on these, and I know I have some other videos out here that um, we'll have a link to, and you can go check that one out. It's one I put out a couple years ago. Um, but anyway, this one is um, it just it's a mix of a lot of a lot of the leg work that I like that I think really can do wonders for shaping those legs. Not to mention great for working those um, internal and external hip rotators. Um, a lot of us get really tight in the hip area um, and that can cause some back pain. So it's, it's good to do these. They're strengthening, but there's also a lot of stretching and moving muscles and that hip is such a big joint. It really is good to keep that moving in all the ways it was built to move. So um, let's go ahead and you can lay all the way down for this one. Um, I just like to put my head under my or my hand under my head and we're one long straight line go ahead and put your hand right in front of you and while you're doing this I still want you to think about pulling the waist away from the ground so we're gonna lift both legs up and then we're gonna flex them and we're just gonna lift the top leg for ten nine eight seven really driving through that heel nice five four, three, two more, one, nice. And now bring those down. Now I like to bend this leg a little bit. So we're gonna do some circles now. You're gonna circle in one direction. The bigger the circle, um, the more rotation you get, but you only wanna do that when you're ready. You can start smaller. Three, two, one. Now let's go backwards for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, beautiful, three, keep breathing, two, one, nice. So now go ahead and come up on the elbow. Now we're going to do our double kick front to the, uh, double kick to the front, point to the back. Try not to move the torso much. So one, two, to the back and inhale exhale and three four five nice six seven three to go three two nice now come down so now, however you like this, this leg can be here, it can be here, it can be here. I just like mine here. You're gonna flex the, the bottom leg, really flex it and drive it up. Now you're working the adductor or the inner thigh of the leg that's going up and down. Nice. Five more. Keep breathing, pulling the waist away from the earth. Three two, one, nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring this leg forward and we're gonna tap it and we're gonna point up and we're gonna tap, point, nice. So as you can see, you're getting a lot of movement here in the foot. You're working at this 90 degree angle. If you're not there yet, that's okay. If you're over here, just do what you can. For four, three, Two, nice, one, nice. Bring that together. Now we're gonna do some clam. So again, you have a string here, feet are together, open, close, open, close. Keeping that spine nice and still, you're not wobbling back and forth, you're only going as far as you can with that foot, or with that knee, I'm sorry. So five, four, Three, might be feeling a little muscle back here you haven't felt in a while. One, nice. So now we're gonna open, point, bring it back, close, open, extend that leg, toe down. Three, and four, nice. And five, we're going to 10, nice. Pulling the waist away, keep breathing. 
naturally, I lost count, so let's do three. <laughs> Two. Pilates teachers are notorious for that. Nice. So now let's go ahead and lift both legs up. So see, this knee is now in the air. That knee is not going to move, just the top one is. For nine, eight, seven. Waist is pulling away from the earth. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, great. Now let's go ahead and come up. This was the leg I worked. So I'm sitting here, but I'm gonna kind of lean to this way a little to feel a nice stretch along that whole side. Okay, got another leg. Equal opportunity here, guys. All right, so again, you're laying straight out like you were before, pulling the waist away. First exercise, both legs up, and the knee and the feet keep facing the front because you don't, if you rotate the knee upward, you're doing a different exercise. Right now we're working on that outer hip. Nice. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Now, bending the back leg if you need to. Let's go into our hip circles. 10 in each direction. Nice. Five. Trying to keep that leg down. Mine just lifted a little too. That happens sometimes. Just gotta keep working at it. And back for 10. Nine, eight, seven. Beautiful, this feels good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come up, extend that leg. Double kick, point to the back, and double, and point. Three, really lengthening through here. You're barely moving that upper body. Nice. Five to go, I keep hitting that ball behind me. <laughs> Four, three, even feeling it through here when I extend to the back. Two, and one, nice. So let's come back down. Now we're gonna do that inner thigh again, however you like to do it. You know, here, that can be down, the leg can be behind you. This is just where I'm comfortable. But really feeling that adductor, lift up, pull the waist away from the earth. Here's five, four, three, two, one, nice. Now bring that foot in front. So we're gonna tap and point. Tap, point. Again, working to get your leg at this 90 degree angle, but if you're not there, that's okay. As I say in all my videos, you do you, it's not a contest. Five, six, seven. Pull the waist away from the earth. Keep breathing. Nine, 10, nice. Now let's go right into our clams. So first one, bottom leg is on the ground for 10, nine. You'll also probably see or begin to notice differences in the legs where one can really open and the other one's like, oh my God, I don't feel like it's opening at all. Just, you know, you just kind of learn about your body that way. For three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and we lift up, point out, bring it together and close. And you know, you kind of learn that, so then might, you might think, okay, well, probably need to stretch that hip a little more, get those rotators moving more. Nice. Here's five. Here's four, good. And three, and two, and one. Nice. Okay, so the final one is we're gonna lift both again. So lift both those legs up. 
Top leg is the only one moving. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Two, good job guys. One, nice. So now let's come up. Again, this was the hip we worked. So we're gonna stretch away from it, kind of over. Feel a nice stretch. Good job. So this is a really good one to even pair if you wanna take like one of my little five minute abdominal core workouts and then maybe a back core. See, I call them all core because you're always working your core. But anyways, if you wanna take a back and, a, and an abdominal and then a leg one, kind of put them all together, you might have 15, 20 minutes. So until next time, see you guys.